Yes! Finally! Time to live vicariously through a video game. Good morning slash afternoon slash evening, everybody. I am Southpaw Racer, here in a set of Corsa today. Because the third, um, whatever pack, I can't remember what it's called, has come out today. And in it is one of my dream cars, the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. And, uh... Yeah, I'm just really excited to give this a go around the Nürburgring because apparently this thing did a time of uh, 7.39 or 7.32, depending on uh, who you trust, um, Alfa Romeo's YouTube video of it or everybody else. <laughs> um, so I'm going to see how close I can get to that. The answer will probably be not very. I fitted the street tires to this thing because uh, according to a couple of YouTube comments I've read, uh, this, um, the record lap was set using the Pirelli Zero Corsa, um, tyres that are fitted to the car by default, so, I'm gonna have a go here. All factory settings left at default, etc, etc, so I've got ABS and traction control helping or hindering me. Out of the first turn of the Nordschleifer, already didn't, uh, maximise that exit. And... The cursor is getting in the way there. I'm gonna have to move that. Okay, so let's see what this thing can do. I can already notice, like, it's either turbo lag or the traction control. It's, uh... You can really feel it under hard acceleration. Through the dip we go, and let's just move the cursor off to the side there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I definitely can. Okay, let's see how it goes up at flip flats. Little tap of the brakes before the jump. Hard on the brakes, don't understeer off. Thank you. Feeling a tiny bit of uh, TC lag in fourth gear. But this thing, as I said, is one of my dream cars. If I were to own two non-Australian cars, the first would be this, the second would be uh, a 159, uh, the Alfa Romeo sedan before this one, but in a turbo diesel sport wagon form for those, uh, you know, for those big trips. This would be the Sunday driver. <laughs> Good old Quadrifoglio, love it. Down into fourth gear. Oh, little, little hot, little hot in there. Down into second gear. Let's see how this thing takes this curb. Yeah, I ran over it a bit much there. Hard on the throttle. I can feel the traction control sort of helping me there, but it just felt like I wasn't unleashing the car's full potential. Hard on the brakes here, come on, turn in, turn in, thank you. Not as much uh, tyre screeching as there is in Alfa Romeo's video. Oh, I've already run wide there. Okay, down into here, I'm taking that, I think, a bit too slow. Had to do a bit of maintenance throttle there. Ugh, not good. A little bit of counter steering. Hard on the throttle. Then left foot braking it into here. And then a quick heel toe down into second. Yeah, man, the traction control is very aggressive on this. Now, as I did mention, I, uh, I went for the street tires. I already said the reason for that earlier on. The reason I didn't go for the hypercar road tyres uh, is largely because I'm not too sure which of the tyres Kunos has developed that would um, be closest to the Pirelli Zero Corsa tyres. A little bit of a lift. Come on, get on those brakes. Ah, that was a bit early actually. I had to do a bit of maintenance throttle there as well. You can tell that uh, 
I'm not the best at taking road cars around the Nürburgring. So we're about four minutes in now. Feeling pretty good about this time. As we come over this flat out section, am I gonna lift through here? Yes, a little bit of a confidence lift. And I don't think I'll shift into gear. Uh, nah, yeah, I'll go into fifth. Whatever. And then down into fourth and down into third. Help the ABS. That felt good. Little break at the curb. I think I was a bit hard there. It was literally my first full uh, hot lap of the Nürburgring. I only did an out lap before this. Just to get a feel for what the car was mostly like. Can I slow down in time for carousel? Just ugh, squirming around a bit too much. And the traction control really doesn't like those bumps on the concrete. Well, we're into the last bit of the lap now. Tap the brakes, bit of a lift into there. Let's get into third for this section. Tiny bit of oversteer, but it's so controllable. And there's some nice reassuring understeer as well, for the most part. So, I feel like on the street tires, this is a fun thing to just smash around. Of course, I'm nowhere near as good a driver as uh, whoever Alfa Romeo got to do their lap for them. But, you know, I've always wanted to own an Alfa. And hopefully, once I, uh, if... I ever have a well-paying job and the means to to own an Alpha in Australia, which is, you know, it's definitely not a good idea to own an Alpha in Australia if you're a, a student or a low-income earner. <laughs> because those things, they may be more reliable than they used to be, but maintenance is still very expensive and it can financially cripple you. So. Not on the cards for me right now, but thanks to Sims like Assetto Corsa, I have the uh, the opportunity to see what one of these would be like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A little bit squirrely over the bumps there. Let's get hard on the brakes and then soft on the brakes. Bring it back over to the right, please. Down the third. Thank you. We're almost at the end, people. mini carousel. I always get the feeling that I'm not quite maximizing my lines through a lot of these corners, but then I remember this thing is on road tires. Whew. Whew. So I'm probably pushing it about as far as it can go for my talent level at least. Now we get a rest. <sighs> Nürburgring Castle in the distance as usual. And, yeah, we're already at uh, 7 minutes and 30 seconds, so there's no way I'm going to match that time on these uh, on these tyres. All in all, a very poor lap. There's the, uh, the highest time. Wondering if I should do another attempt at some point. on the, uh, the hypercar road tires and just see how fast I can go. But either way, final corner of the Nordschleifer. <sighs> Tried to get hard on the throttle, but the traction control screwed me over again. Eight minutes, 5.232. Eh, uh, I don't think I was expecting much better. Would have liked to get under eight minutes, but hey. Only my first couple of laps in the car. But, um, that's that. Fuck, that was fun, though. I'm really happy with, um, with the fact that Kunos uh, managed to get the, the Quadrifoglio 
into Assetto Corsa, not just into Assetto Corsa, but into Assetto Corsa for free. This car is is free. It's in the latest update for Assetto Corsa, so if you have it, go and grab it. Fantastic machine. I just love watching it go around the track. I don't even give a shit that the heads up display is still on. I'm just I'm just watching this car. <laughs> Oh man, beautiful, beautiful machine. So, maybe one day, maybe one day that won't just be a few pixels on my computer screen. Maybe one day it will actually be sitting in my garage. Here's hoping. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, do all the YouTube bullshit, whatever. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm Southpaw Racer. I'm a sim racer. I make videos about that and other stuff. I'll see you at the first corner. Goodbye.